we have, we have to cut ourselves basement. free from America to rebuild. Thanks for your help. Are you available now to look for Marcia? She could be in trouble. She was supposed to make a trip to Foundation, but a group of initiates recently returned from there, and nobody remembers seeing her. I did consider that when I first heard of it. But I'd rather remain hopeful and investigate further. Marcia is the eldest of the two siblings that we encountered on our journey to Appalachia. There was... an incident that resulted in the death of their mother. Paladin Romani decided that we should bring them along with us instead of leaving them alone. First, start by talking to her younger brother, Max. He might have an idea where she's gone. I'm going to remain hopeful that something didn't happen to her or anyone else who's missing. If something did happen while she was in our care, let's not worry about that just yet. You should get that mutation treated as an example to the other troops. Two sets of plans, and the initiates don't know who to report to. This can't last forever. Are you here to help me find my sister? Well, the last time I saw Marsha was when she told me she was going to Foundation for some things. Uh, I think that something bad happened to her. It, it was just supposed to be a quick trip to Foundation, but she hasn't come back yet. I just know she would never leave me on purpose. No, but when she said goodbye, she was acting really weird. She was like, you know I'll always love you, right? She never says stuff like that. It's usually, learn to behave, Max, or can you be quiet, Max? Her best friend, Luis Ramirez, might know something. He's an initiate too. Hello. How can I help you? What has Marsha done this time? It's been really hard for her to adjust to living in Fort Atlas after losing her mother. She spends most of her time worrying about taking care of Max, but none of it worrying about herself. I know that Marsha is a little rough around the edges, but that's just because she's already been through a lot in her life. She's the strongest person I know, though, and has a big heart. Cares a lot about the people in her life. I'm lucky enough to be one of them. Missing? Uh, <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's just running an errand to Foundation. Yeah, she'll be back any minute. Still Damn it, fine. I, I can't bear the thought of something happening to her. I can't be sure, but I think she may be with the Raider War Party. She told me once that she stayed as long as she could for Max's sake, but being here was like an open wound for her. Yeah, I don't think it's my place to tell her story, but let's just say that she blames them, or us, for the death of her mother. We need to get to the bottom of this soon. Abandon? No, of course not. We were talking, and I assured her that I would never let anything happen to Max. I, I... I guess I told her exactly what she needed to hear. Good luck, and please bring her back. One day I'll make money, and I'll show those raiders who's boss.
Kyrie hooked me up with some pretty sweet mods. Time to win that bet, sir. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble will be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? You have some nerve showing up here after you sold us out. I'll let Marcia speak for herself, but I'm pretty sure she's not interested in going back. Hell no, I'm not. How about you don't waste everyone's time and just leave? Glad you ask. Well, it just so happens we're planning a dinner party. The Brotherhood will be our distinguished guests. We'd like to deliver a special thank you for showing up in Appalachia without even needing an invitation and laying down the law on this filthy, treacherous wasteland. You've done enough helping already. You had your chance, and you blew it. Sheena and Burke. It's their lives that are on the line, not yours. I value their lives as much as my own. I can't trust... I can't put their lives in the hands of the Brotherhood. That makes them as good as dead. If we stand by and do nothing, then they will be dead. Sheena and Burke went to AMS headquarters to retrieve something for us and haven't returned yet. Marsha. Well, it wasn't my plan for you to know about this, but now that you do, I guess there's no way around it. Marsha is not going back with you. She's going after Sheena and Burke. She's been bossed around by the Brotherhood enough in her life. Why don't you do something for her for a change and help out? I overheard some Brotherhood initiates talking about how AMS headquarters was a place of interest. It was the piece of intel I gave to Pierce and the others so that they would consider letting me join. It's my fault that they're missing. I should have tried to get more information. Nice try. As much as it kills me, I'm not stupid enough to leave things unsupervised when two of us are already missing. I'm not going back to Fort Atlas. No one gave you the right to make my life decisions for me, and the Brotherhood doesn't own me. I feel better having one of us there instead of blindly trusting the Brotherhood. Make sure someone is focused on saving Sheena and Burke. One of us? You really mean it? I'll prove to you, Pierce, that I belong here. I'll undo what I've done. You being willing to put your life on the line for us is indication enough that you belong in this family. Bring my people back alive and in one piece. I'll meet you at AMS. I'm not coming back with you after, though. I have a new family. I'd advise you to watch your step around here.
Automated Mining Services welcomes you to the home of industry. Visitors, please see our receptionist. Welcome to AMS, the future of mining. AMS is here for you. Thank you for visiting. you know. I've never heard of them before. They seem like some sort of mercenary creeps. I don't care what they call themselves. I won't let them get in our way. Look, I'd rather focus on finding Sheena and Burke, but if it'll get you moving, then say what you want to. I'll miss them, but I need to start living my life for myself instead of others. I never asked to be taken to Fort Atlas. That decision was made for me. Being around the Brotherhood and watching them take charge is a constant reminder of how my mother died. I can't keep watching them do that to others. I never wanted to be the sole caregiver of Max either. He's happier staying at Fort Atlas with Night Shin, and I can't be a good guardian for him in a place that causes me so much pain. I'm finally taking charge of my own life and doing what I need to do for myself. The Raiders are the only ones standing up to the Brotherhood and making their own choices about how to live. Listen, I'm not naive. I know that Raider life is dangerous and filled with stealing and murder, but Pierce and the others, they're different. They just want to live their lives free from the oppression of the Brotherhood. I can relate to that. Okay. I've had to be the one who takes care of Max and me. I'm not used to accepting help. So, thanks. Now that that's taken care of, we should look around and see if there's any trace of Sheena or Burke. I already did a sweep of this floor before that mercenary attacked me and didn't find anything. Let's try looking upstairs.
better than dealing with the fanatics of the pit. recognize that necklace anywhere. That's Burke's necklace. I've never seen them without it. My mom had a similar necklace that she always wore. Never took that thing off. I still regret not being able to retrieve it from her. Her body. I... Thank you. You're right. Max and I will keep her memory alive. Maybe I can tell you about her sometime, if you want. At least we know that Burke and Sheena made it to AMS. Let's keep looking. that went with Sheena and Burke. I hope they're still okay. I'm so tired of all the blood and death. I'm tired of losing everyone that I care about. First my mother's death and now this. You're right. Sheena and Burke are strong. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Come on, we've got to hurry and find them. note say. A 
note from Sheena. I can't believe... Let's keep going. A note from Sheena. I can't believe they surrendered. Hopefully that means they were taken alive. The Raiders. They really are like a family. The kind that I want to be a part of. Of course, they'll always be my family. I just couldn't stand staying in that place anymore with the Brotherhood. One day, they'll understand. Hell, maybe they'll even join me. We're almost to the top of AMS. We must be getting close. Let's hurry. given my mercs all this trouble. We Hellcats don't put up with anyone getting in the way of us or our caps. This ends now.
find out where Sheena and Burke are? <sighs> Captured? That's good. That means they were taken alive. We need to figure out where these holding cells are. See if you can find anything else that hints toward their location. something. What the hell? The Brotherhood set their lackey to try and bring me back. I told them I refused to even consider it until we found you. They're actually not as bad as I thought. And they helped me find you. But anyway, are you two okay? You look pretty beat up. Been better. Good work on giving these mercenaries hell, Marsha. You can make a great addition to the war party. So, can you get us out of here or not? Thank you. I won't forget this. Sheena made the right choice. Thanks, Burke. There was no way we would have made it out of there alive, and I knew Pierce wouldn't just let us go missing. My quick thinking's what kept us alive. Not everything can be won with a fight. I appreciate your help. Don't worry, you two. We'll get you out soon.
Hey. Okay, now that we found Sheena and Burke, we can talk. What's up? Sure, I'll hear what you've got to say. You, Ramirez, Odessa, you've all shown me that maybe all Brotherhood members aren't the same. But I can't just leave the war party. We're family now. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that one. Someone's gotta raise that boy to think for himself. Marshal, no. Why would you go back to them? The Brotherhood are our enemies. I'm not joining the Brotherhood. But I can't just abandon everyone at Fort Atlas. Their initiate helped me see that. I'm sorry. I really am. I'll never forget the way that you all accepted me into your family. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again. And it won't be on fighting terms. Thanks again. For everything. I'll see you back at Fort Atlas. Those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? It started with an M. I want to visit Fort Defiance, but... Welcome back, Initiate. I see that Marcia has returned and in brighter spirits than before. I don't know how you managed it, but... Great work! Did you discover anything else on your mission? Hmm. This letter is concerning. While Marsha wasn't missing, it seems that these Hellcat mercenaries and the Blue Ridge Caravan Company are both involved in the other disappearances. Please, take this to Romani as soon as you can. She'll want to hear about this. I don't suppose you know how to spot well. <laughs> 